Good morning. Uh, I want to jump right into this because I'd like these to be a little bit shorter. To see if to see if viewers can work their way all the way through. But the word I believe the Lord put on my heart for the last week and two weeks is the power of the gospel and how powerful the gospel is and how it's the only thing that matters. It's like the only message that matters. There's no other message that matters. It's all about the gospel. The gospel of G. So, so I want to preface this. I want to preface this with a quick story. So I had a, a close friend of mine, Brad Piper, great human, loves Jesus, invited me to a school called Hope Academy in Minneapolis. And this is a, it was such an encouraging tour because it is right in the gut, the guts of Minneapolis. And there's a lot of crime and poverty and it's a difficult space. Okay. A challenging space. And he shared his God story of starting this church without any, any classical background, any classical teaching background. He didn't have a teaching education. He just had God, God told him like to do this. Okay. And he has done it. And he has this, and it's this beautiful school, Christ centered on the gospel. And that's the only way it works. And he said it, he said it. And I just like love to hear it. You know, like we can, we can say the word, we can say the word Jesus. We can say the word God and we can say like, yeah, we're doing all these things and we're Christ centered. But the only way you're Christ centered is if, if the gospel the Old Testament and the New Testament, which is the gospel, an entire, the entire thing is about Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior, salvation, redemption. Okay, so the only way it works, and he said that, he said the only way this works is if this is, if this is built on the gospel the Bible, the good book and that, and the gospel. And like, so, and so, and so that's also true for us as believers. It's the only way this, the only way this works is if we have a relationship with Jesus. And I see three ways we have a relationship with Jesus the gospel, the Bible, God's word, God's spoken word. I believe God breathed, right? You have to make that decision for yourself. I believe God breathed. So God's speaking to us. Like that's a relationship. If God is speaking to us, I can listen to God. And he, he speaks to my heart. I read the word. It reads my heart. I get, to, I get to know God's character, know God's character. At some point, I have to, I have to believe and know God's character at some point. That, 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 that is what ha happened for me. I read, I read and read and read and read and read and read and read, and read and, but it's like, okay, do I now, when do I believe this? So the Bible, Holy Spirit, how do we have a relationship with Jesus? Holy Spirit, we have Holy Spirit in us when we believe accept Jesus, Holy Spirit comes into us. And now we have Jesus living in us. He is in us. The same, check this out. Check this out. Oh, we have a Romans theme happening here. Holy Spirit has us on a Romans theme. That's pretty cool. I'm going to drink some coffee. Iced, day-old iced meow. Stand by. Yep, yep, it's good. So, and if the Spirit, let's do, let's do an 
we'll go NIV. And if the spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of the spirit who lives in you. All right. Come on. Pause. And this is what I'm saying. Like, pause. Do I believe this? Is this true? Whoa. If so, whoa. Um, I like to do a... I like to do a... King James. I like to do a new King James check. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you... He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortals through his spirit who dwells in you. So, second way we have a relationship with Jesus. God, Holy Spirit, in us. Who dwells in us. Okay. Third way we have a relationship with Jesus. The body. The body, I and you, other believers, different, who are different parts of the body. Oh man, this might be a Roman. This might be in Romans. Let's see. Different parts of the body. Oh, I think it's Romans. Oh man. Holy Spirit has us in Romans, dude. Like, you know, that, that's that's what I think is so cool about Holy Spirit. Unplanned. This is un this is unplanned. Like I didn't plan my Bible verses, right? Um God Lord is putting gospel. This is Holy Spirit. Lord is putting God and I have like goosebumps, right? Because this is unplanned. So Lord's putting gospel, the power of the gospel on my heart. And then we come here and we start with Romans, the power of the gospel. And then the Holy Spirit takes us Romans. Continue takes us in this Romans theme, which I just think is so cool. Because which is next, what is next is. For each of us has one body with many members. And these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ... We, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all others. Cool. So cool. How cool is that? We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophecy, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. Nice. Well, we should, we will get into giftings. We'll get into giftings. But how? So, so, th so three ways we have a relationship with Jesus. The word, God's word, God speaking to us. Holy Spirit. God in us, speaking to us, living through us. Three, the body. That's why we meet together. That's why we meet together. That, that's, why, that's why we do life together. Okay, We don't just show up on a Sunday. We do life together. We call each other. We text each other. You know, it's like, we're sharing our gifts with each other. We're giving our gifts. If you have a gift, a gift is a thing you give and it's received. And, that, and that's why we do life together, right? We don't just, again, we don't just like do a Sunday, sit there, leave. You know, it's like life, life, life. Because, we're, because we are part of each other. We're parts of each other. You're my elbow. And my elbow is important. And you're my, you are my... SI joint and you are my, you know what I mean? Like every part matters. And when one part, check this out. This is from, uh, this is from Killing Kryptonite. Killing Kryptonite was a really hard book, really hard read for me. It was very convicting. But essentially, so ana and anatomically speaking, if one part of me is off, all of it's off, right? That's true for the body too. You can read. You can even read in the Old Testament. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on this and your comments on this. But the the man 
who did not obey God and took a, they, it might have been AI, I'm not exactly sure. They go into a, they go and capture a city and God says, take, destroy all of it, destroy all of it, take nothing. And one guy takes gold and takes stuff. And the whole, and all of Israel was affected because of the one person, okay? I think that's true today. I think I think the body is struggling because our individual parts are not healthy. We're not spiritually healthy. And if we're not spiritually healthy, we're not healthy in all other ways. Because it all starts because it's a spiritual warfare. It's bottom foundation. It's a spiritual warfare. So far spirit so far spirit is unhealthy malnourished all other parts of our life will be unhealthy believe it or believe it or not so so three ways to have a relationship i may have gone on a tangent but so cool we're in romans now right we see a thread of romans and we're just going to start so anyways all my heart was the Lord put on my heart was the power of the gospel and how it all and how it's so important that we're standing on a standard. Standing on a standard. Standard has the word stand in it. Just now realized. Cool. More Holy Spirit. So you know, there's like this, there's like a brand that we don't want to like, we, we don't want to like have too much word gospel in there, too much of the Bible, too much of God's word. It's like, it's the only thing that, it's the only thing that matters. It's the only book that matters. What other book matters? <laughs> what other book matters? This is our standard. I don't need. I don't need to go to. I don't need to go to a, like a different book or different thing or this thing or that thing. Or, right here, we can go right here for all of our answers, easily for all of our answers. People will say, "Well, this isn't it." Yes, it is. It's all in there. Any any answer you need to life's questions is here in the Bible. Even if you even if you say even if you say like well it's not one to one speaking directly about this situation yes it is yes it is this is this is the the power so not only not only does it not only can it like give us every answer to life it gives us the answer to life and the answer to life is Jesus the power of the gospel so let's just let's just do this. For I am not ashamed, Romans 1, 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, to Jew first and also Greek. All people, everyone who believes, everyone who believes, everyone who believes the gospel is God's power for salvation. Check this out. So let's do Romans 1, 16. Romans 1, 16, Romans 1, 16, Romans 1, 16, where's my Bible hub, where's my Bible hub? There you are. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Let's do, let's do King James. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also the Greek. So if you like, if you strip it back a little bit, not to say strip it back, but if you, if you read between the lines, 
the gospel of Christ is the power of God. Am I reading between the lines too much? The gospel? I mean, I was reading this and I'm like, okay, what is this? What is this saying? The gospel? I'm a very simple person. God wired me to be very, to be very simple. And so if I strip, if we strip it back, the gospel of Christ is the power of God. The gospel of Christ. What is the gospel of Christ? The gospel of Christ is is the power of God, man. Like Jesus is the power of God. Okay? And so that's what it's all, my point, the whole point of this right now, this video right now, is that what, that is what this is all about. That's what it's all about. And we have to make our, obviously we have to make our decision. You have to decide, I have to decide if this is real, if this is true, like, is Jesus who, was Jesus real? Yes. But was Jesus, go decide for yourself, was Jesus real? Did he live? Is there evidence? Yes. Who was Jesus? Who did Jesus say he was? What did he teach? What did his life look like? You have to decide all that. But, but the gospel that I believe, the gospel, the power, the gospel of Christ is, is this whole book right here is about the revelation of God. Okay, it's a revelation of God. And Jesus is like the final revelation of Gosh, that's funny. Revelation is the last book. <laughs> which is which is essentially Jesus re-revealing himself. And so this whole book is a is the is a revelation of God. Jesus is like the exclamation in flesh. God in flesh. God in flesh with creation. Living, walking, breathing, eating, dying with creation so that, so that we can be redeemed into a right relationship with God. So that we can be redeemed back with our father. It's the prodigal son. It's the prodigal son. That is not in Romans, but that's okay. The prodigal son. The prodigal son has got some good good meat in there too. Let's go to uh, it's um, Luke fifteen thirty one. I don't know that we're, I don't know that we're gonna read it, but we should go there. And so. So that is what the Lord has been putting on my heart. Like, this is the only message that matters. This is the, this, right? You know, I got, we can, we can get to the, we can get to like, we can get, we should, and we should get to renewing our mind and running the race, but none of it matters. And that's, that's the, that's the issue with like self-help work and all this, like work on yourself stuff it is, is it doesn't matter. If it's not built on the gospel, doesn't matter. Might work for a week, might work for two weeks, might work for six months, might work for two years. It might even work for 10 years. You might have it all figured out and you might be able to do it all on your own. You might be able to help yourself for 10 years, maybe. It will, it will come to an end. I guarantee 100% every single time. You cannot do it. You cannot, and I cannot do it. And so, in the body, uh, yeah, let's get there. Let's talk about all these things. Let's talk about improving, right, and maturing. We should mature, but we cannot mature in, until we get, like, the milk. I think this is even the milk. This is like the milk. The gospel is the milk, and we've, like, kind of left the gospel behind it seems like we don't talk about the gospel anymore we all just say like sure 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 yeah yeah, yeah. it's like what do we even know what the gospel is anymore what is the gospel i read here the 
gospel of Christ is the power of God. And the gospel of Christ is God, is the, is the Messiah, is the Savior. That's what the whole, new, the whole Old Testament prophecy is a, a Messiah, a Savior. A Savior is coming. To redeem the people, to save the people, to make the people right again with God. Messiah is coming. Messiah is coming. A Savior is coming. Jesus says, here I am. Here I am. I'm the one. I am the one. I am the Savior. To make all things right. And so that is the gospel. And it's simple. It's so simple. Isn't it so simple? I love it. That's it. That is it. That's it. That's it. Done. Now we have to decide if we believe it or not. And then there's like the, yes, I believe. You know, like, I believe you, Jesus. Now I follow you. Now I follow Jesus. And now I obey God's word. I obey God's word. Because he speak, God's speaking to me here in this. God's speaking. God's saying like, hey, here's like, here's how I've laid it all out. We have Holy Spirit talking to us and saying like, hey, go talk to this person. Go share my love with this person. Go do this thing. Go do that thing. And we obey Holy Spirit. We obey the promptings. Okay. That one can be difficult for people, but it's difficult for people, myself included, because we spent so long listening to different voices. And there's different, there's spiritual warfare happening. So we have to know Father's voice. How do we know Father's voice? Here's one way. Here's a way to know Father's voice. Like we get to, we get to, we get to read Father's. It's literally Father talking to us. And so, 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 right? We believe. Get become, be baptized. Obey. Not not in that specific order. Like just obey. We are we are called to, we are called for a baptism of water. It's like a, it's like an out. It's an outward expression. I'm read, I read Psalms. Psalms are just like so amazing. And it's like, a, I'm praising you in front of the throngs. Like I'm praising you before all the people. I'm, I'm doing this thing. So everyone knows like I'm following you. You're my king. And so there's, there are, so, so it's simple. The gospel's simple. Okay. The gospel's simple. And that, that should be, that should be Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that it is so simple. You're so awesome. You're you make it so easy for us to have a right life, a better life, a better way. And so that's what this is all about, right? We're all gonna go. It's Sunday. We're all gonna go to our different places. There's gonna be another message. It's gonna be like this new message. This new this new series and this new theme. And someone's gonna have a ladder and someone's gonna have a prop. And there's gonna be all this stuff. And it's like, but it's like. The gospel is the first thing, the first thing, the power, the gospel of Christ is the power of God. The go gospel of Christ is the power of God. The gospel of Christ is the power of God. Power of God, the creator. Power of God. is the gospel of Christ. <laughs> so, starts there. That's like bedrock. That's our bedrock. Do do I believe it? Do you believe it? Okay. Believe it then. But it's like believe it. Like we all have this like, yeah. Sure. And that's fine, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do really really believe, it, but I think when we really really believe it, we really really believe it. There's so much more. There's like, there's, yeah, there's like a maturing beyond, beyond that. Cause if we really believe it, it's like when I read father's love letter to me and to us, I see a different life for me and you and us as believers and children of God, a different life, a life. We don't live in fear. Okay. Bold, adventurous courageous, loving, caring, 
It's like radical love, radical. And that's really what it's all about. It's just like radical. It's not like I'm out here building my own kingdom. It's just like radical service. And I can look like a lot of different things. Radical service, radical service. I could serve you in many different ways. Right? I might, I might have a business. There were, there were people in the word who followed Jesus who had a business. Okay. And that's a gift. That can be a gift to the body. Anyways, it's all about the gospel. Okay. Do we get it? Do we believe it? Do we know what the gospel is? I hope, I hope after today we know what the gospel is. What is the gospel? Okay. The gospel. Hmm. Sometimes you have to go to like revelation of Jesus. Glad tidings announced by Jesus. The good news. The good news. Uh, side note, it's really important to know what words mean. It's so important. God's story. That's <laughs> sick. God's story. The history. The gospel. It's all about Jesus. Okay, it's all so anyway. So, so. That's it. That's it. Let me, let me know how I can help. I'll say, I'd say, what do I do? What do you do next? Okay, so. If you're a Christian like, and you're not sure what the gospel is, know what the gospel, like know the gospel. Know, know the gospel, like know the good news, okay? Know it. A savior came. Everyone's hurting. Everyone's in pain. Look around. The world is, it is in, there is pain, hurt everywhere. It's actually a pretty easy time to share good news. Like, hey, do you want good news? I have good news. Are you interested in good news? Go look, go look at the news. Where is the show me the good news? Even worldly good news doesn't come close. We're talking about eternity here. That should be added to the gospel we're talking about giving life to our mortal bodies now and into eternity. We're talking about like 70 million years. Okay. We're talking about eternal life. So we've been redeemed into eternal life now and forever. So know the gospel. If you're a Christian, go back. Make sure we know what the gospel is, like this whole, what the whole point of all this is, okay? Before we start, like, all this self-help stuff, all this, like, working really hard for God, and, like, first, do we believe the God? Do we know the gospel? Do we believe the gospel? Because it should, if we, because it should be, like, this thing that's, like, ooh, hold up. Really? <laughs> you know, like, so... And if you are not a believer, I have good news for you. 
This is all real. Everything you're looking at, created by a creator, okay? Yourself in the mirror, created by a creator. We rebelled, obviously. We rebelled against our creator. We rebelled. We weren't, and we have been rebellious. And God made a way in Jesus to redeem us, to make things right, to make things right in our hearts and in the world. And And Jesus is the power for salvation to everyone who believes. To the Jew first, everyone who believes. The Jew first and also the Greek. At that time, that means everyone. <laughs> Why the Jew first? Because the Jew was first. The Jew, the, cho the Jew was Israel, which was just name of a people okay nay god's chosen people god's people god called out to be different okay but the point is the gospel of christ is the power of salvation for everyone who believes the gospel of christ is god's power the gospel of christ is the power of for salvation to everyone who believes. So, for the, uh, the, for the unbeliever, the Christian, that's what this means. Okay, that's what this means. Salvation, salvation, salvation. Salvation. Saving of the soul. Deliverance from the power of sin. An admission to eternal bliss. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Even this says the non-religious sense of protection or preservation from destruction, danger, calamity, etc. That works too. Difference. Here's the difference. As Christian, hey, uh, hey, Christian and non-Christian. We aren't we aren't safe from like in worldly in worldly terms they can harm our body but they cannot harm our soul and our eternal bliss. Yeah, that's good news. That's good news. You see you watch the news, man. There's wild stuff happening. There's wild stuff happening. They cannot harm our soul, our eternal bliss. Okay, they can harm the body, they can't harm, and God is hyperlinking me. And being hyperlinked. And this is Jesus speaking. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Whoa. So I want to wrap this up. This went longer than I was expecting, okay? So, know the gospel. Brother and sister in Christ, know the gospel. It is the power of God, okay? Unbeliever, know the gospel. It is for you. Are you sick and tired and weary and burdened? Come to Jesus. Throw your burdens at Jesus. Trust Jesus. Start there. Like everyone, let's go back to the gospel. But the gospel that is, as we tie it up, the gospel of Christ is the power of God. All right. Thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you. Wow, thank you for who you are. 
Thank you that we can have a relationship with the creator of everything. Thank you. Thank you for um, your word. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for this gospel. That is the power for salvation. That is your power that you've given to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We, I want to know you. I want to trust you. And I want everyone here to, I know how you've changed everything in my life. And in so many lives. And I want, I want everyone to know your life changing power. We pray everything in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. I love you. Peace.